Hello everyone, welcome to Unify Study. As you know, the free course of 2025 is going on. After number system, I came with programming. The program is basic of number system again. So, this is the first question in front of you. I will sh show you three questions and answer. If you are able to do correct question and answer, then definitely within two minutes you can end the video. If you are not able to do, then you have to watch the video till the end. And definitely subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon to get all the latest update and notification. These are the three questions we are going to solve here. Yes. How many of you are getting confused? What is the answer here? Yes, the answer is 24. Why 24? How 24? Here you have to see here, this is O. Okay, this is O means OX. This is actually hexadecimal number. It is the representation of hexadecimal number. And this O, this is the representation of octal number. So, in hexadecimal, whenever I am writing 10, one zero, 1 zero means 1 multiplied to 16 plus 0 multiplied to 16 to the power 0 to the power 1. That is 16 plus 0 means it is 16 itself. And in octal, whenever you are going for octal, octal 1 zero means it is 1 multiplied to 8 plus 0 multiplied to 8 to the power 0 to the power 1. This is 8 plus 0 that is 8. So, what is the total is here A plus B. This is 16 plus 8, 24 is the total. That's why your answer is 24. Those students who are thinking that why I am coming with number system, why programming, this is the reason the number system programming everything is related. If your number system is not clear, anything will be not clear. Now, this question. This is just like a jumble. Nothing else is here. It is a game here going on. Here it is normal function call. You are calling this function. You are passing the variable 2 and 5. Now you are calling 2 times. After that finally you are printing here. What is going on here? Here also your basic math is required. Nothing else. Here whenever you are calling this is you can see it is actually the return value. This is also return value. Here also you are using x. Here also you are using y. The x and y same variable is used here. Whenever you are calling this one it is actually will be called with y value. Y value is 5 then x value is 2. So it will go here. Always remember argument is following the order. How you are passing the argument with that same way. If the order will be followed here. It is called by value. I am not going with reference. So it is 5. This is 2. So x value is 5 here. Y value is 2 here. That's why it will be 2 multiply 5 plus 2. That means it is 10 plus 2, 12. What is this? x equals to 12. So, return x means you are going to return 12. Where you are returning? You are returning here. This return will be stored in y. Means now y value is 12 here. The return is storing here means y value is 12 here. Now, whenever you are calling into the next line, this jumble y comma x. So, y value is 2 here x value is as it is that is 2 okay don't be confused with x and y here just see that what is the value here 12 x was already 2 so that is 2 12 and 2 you are passing here now so whenever you are passing here 12 and 2 just erase this and then do the calculation again what is happening here just see here whenever you are coming this is 12, this is 2. Means x equals to 12, y equals to 2. Here it will be 2 multiplied to 12 plus 2. That means 24 plus 2 that is 26. So return 26. Where you are returning? You are returning here. Right? The return will be stored in x. So x value is 26 now. You are going to print x. What is the value? 26. That's why your answer is coming 26. 
so answer is 26 here looking simple but maximum time you are getting confused because how it is happening you are not able to understand here it is one different type of question that is like how you have to understand beat wise operation this type of question is also very simple but get creating confusion what is the value of k here what is this negation negation k and after that here you are doing what this is actually pipeline okay pipeline means here it is or means plus and this is negation negation k so it is happening not not k means 10 so not 10 anything not 0 means it is true so it will work as not true not true means false not false not false means true true means 1 so this value is 1 here it is i plus k. This will work as i plus k. What is the value of i? 5. What is the value of a? k is 10. So it will be 5 plus 10 that means 15. That's why here you are getting 15. So what is going to print here? 1 and 15. Although here is syntax mistake. There is nothing like percent d, percent d. There is some syntactical mistake, but conceptually just understand that yes, this one and this one how it is working. Syntactically, the program is wrong. Syntax is wrong here in the program. But I take this programming because of clearing the concept when you are doing this operation, how to understand. <coughs> I hope it is clear to you. Stay tuned with this channel and stay tuned with me to understand more good good question with different different way and with topic wise i need your patience so that every day you will learn in a very quick area small area but every day continuously consistently if you are learning you will see at the end of the year you will get a big impact so like share subscribe and let me know in the comment section what is your feedback because your feedback is motivating me i am waiting for your feedback thank you bye see you again with next question of programming bye bye